This is Justin Branham from MasterFiddle.com. In this lesson, we're going to work on the fiddle tune Big Sciota, which is a great old time and bluegrass uh, fiddle tune, great for jam sessions or playing in a band. We're in the key of G for this one. And this version is perfect for an intermediate fiddle player, beginner moving into intermediate. And if you're advanced, this will be good because it's a good version of the basic melody with good bowing. So it'll get you on the right track for all that hot bluegrass improv you might want to do over this tune. So let's get started. Okay, like I said, we're in the key of G, and we're going to start with seven and a half taters. A tater sounds like this. Some people call that a shuffle. Uh, it's a quarter and two eighth notes. And we're playing a chord here. A double. It's a double stop because we have two fingers down, but it's part of the G chord. We've got a third finger on the D string on um, a G note, and a first finger on the A string on a B note. And we're going to slide our first finger into that first double stop. And then all these bowings are going to be back and forth saw strokes. So the next one's up and then down. And we're just going to keep that pattern going. There's no slurs here. So the first, uh, first tater, we'll do another one, another. This is the third one. Here's the fourth one. A lot of times people will go ahead and kick a tune off at that point. I like to do the long intro sometimes, so we're going to do that one more time. But instead of having a full tater here, we just got a half tater because we're going to play just the quarter note. So we can make room for the pickup notes that lead us into the first phrase. That's our, our first phrase, pickup notes. So. All together, let's try it nice and slow, seven and a half taters. So one tater is this. I'm also sliding into that first finger on the first group of four taters each time. So the first time I do it, that was four. And then the second time I'll slide into it. It's just the first finger on the A string that I'm, I'm doing the sliding with. Uh, so let's try that one. Two, a one, two, three, four. And here's our first phrase. Do two bar phrases here. Um, so that first phrase, we've got three pickup notes. It's a triplet, and we're going to slur into the first note of the first measure, so this is going to be a four note slur. Open one, two, three on the D string. That's D, E, F sharp, G. Then that was on a down bow. Second finger, we're going to do saw stroke back and forth bowing here, so we're up. So second finger on the D string, F sharp, back to G. First finger on the A string, that's a B note. Open A. Second finger D string, that's an F sharp, open A, and then a three note slur on an up bow here. So that was two, one, open, C, B, A. Third finger on the D string, a G note. First finger on the A string, a B note, open A. Third finger on the D string, a G note. First finger E and then second finger F sharp. That was a three note slur on an up bow. Okay, so I'll play that whole phrase slowly. And the last three notes are kind of pickup notes into the next phrase, so it sort of sounds a little bit weird when you cut it off, but let's try that. One, two, three. Okay, our next phrase sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 